Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. I always say the most exciting time of the year for me is hatching baby snakes. And guess what? It's colubrid hatch season with over a thousand babies each and every day. You guys want to take a look? Come with me. You're watching Snake Bites. Well, it's that time of year again, baby hatching season in colubrids, and I've done shows where they've been 1,200 eggs laid in a day, which goes to show you that it's gonna be 1,200 babies hatching 60 days later, and guess what? That's where we're at right now. There's all kinds of stuff coming out. As you can see with these corn snakes, it's just so exciting this time of year when you open up boxes and you just see a whole bunch of corns. And again, these are just some normal corn snakes and albino corn snakes, but I've always said that the day I don't get excited about producing the cheapest snake in my collection is the day that I'll get out of the reptile business. So I get just as excited about hatching normal corns and albino corns as anything else in the collection. Okay, what we have here is some pretty cool Halloween type Pueblin milk snakes. These actually came out really neat. What's interesting about the Halloween Pueblins is that they're almost so ugly because you're reducing all the red that it makes them really cool. We also have some really, really beautiful albino going eye. Take a look at that. That thing is gorgeous. He's, this is actually a really nice clutch. This is only just barely starting out. We have all these eggs to go through. It's gonna be a long day. And the worst part is, is that Lori has to set all these up afterwards. So she's gonna, she, you know, I'm all happy about baby snakes, but she kind of freaks out because she's got the job of putting each one of these in a box and labeling it. What we have here is just some butter corns and some Pueblin milk snakes, but look at how beautiful these guys are. I mean, I just love getting a handful of snakes like this. It's just really exciting. What is Chewy's favorite house pet? Is it A, Sphinx Cat, B, Skinny Pigs, or C, Pug Dog? Answer with a comment and keep watching to see if you're right. This is pretty cool. This is actually a banana and albino banana clutch. And you can see there's a whole bunch of little bananas and some really gorgeous albino banana king snakes. These are all cow kings. And again, when cow kings are born, they won't eat each other for the first couple weeks. So it's no problem to incubate them like this. But once they shed out, you got to make sure to keep them separate because they will start trying to eat each other. Here's another pretty cool clutch. Oh, check this out. This is really cool. These are just high white, black and white cow kings, which are really beautiful. But then I've got some really pretty... Max Max or San Luis Potosi king snakes in here. And again, it's one of those situations where it's okay to have multiple clutches in the same box. We typically put two clutches per box. And again, even king snakes won't eat each other when they're babies, but it's really important with a clutch like this, that's a Max Max that's much smaller than a cow king to get these things separated out. Because once these cow kings shed, they're gonna look at those Max Max as another meal. So we gotta make sure to move on. Oh, this is actually a really beautiful clutch. We've got, um, We've got Hypo Sunkiss Motleys. We've got Motleys, we've got Hypo Sunkiss. Got a whole bunch of different things in here, but these are really beautiful. The, the, uh, the Hypo Sunkiss Motleys in particular. Look at how amazing those snakes are. Again, I've got some escapees again, guys. I gotta pay attention. You're distracting me. Ugh. Okay, make sure there's no heads. Whoop, one head. We like to keep all our heads on our snakes. That's usually good. Let's see here. We've got uh, a milk corn, which is really cool. Look at how beautiful that snake is. That's a milk corn right there. You can just see the real heavy banding. That's why they call them milk corns. It's because they kind of almost look like eastern milk snakes with that heavily banding. But then we just have some butter motleys in here as well. So you see a bunch of butter motleys and some milk corn. So it's a pretty nice thing. And you can actually see there's a couple snakes that are still in the egg. So these, this clutch isn't 100% hatched out yet, so we'll wait till tomorrow to start pulling these out and separating them out. Again, more corn snakes. We've got albino motleys here. We've got uh, butters and some albino corns. And look at how feisty that little guy is. It's so funny. It's amazing that as soon as they hatch out of the egg, they're just like ready to fire up at you. And it's interesting too, because corn snakes are typically really docile animals. So I always get a kick out of it. But again, you know, I kind of figure, you know, they're hatching out and they're these little teeny babies and they're like, ah, what's this big monster coming into my box? It's the first time they've ever seen anybody. And that's a weird feeling, isn't it? To think that this is the very first time that the snake has ever seen a human. So it's kind of interesting. Oh, look at these. These are sweet. 
These are albino king rats. That's right, the crazy king rats that are always so nasty. The truth is they're really cool animals and the majority of them are pretty tame. But uh, this is how big they hatch out. Look how big that is. That's a big snake for hatching, but that's just born. So it's pretty, pretty astonishing. I'm loving that guy. I love producing king rats. They're one of my favorite snakes. Oh, let's see what we got here. These are actually really cool. They're corn snakes, but these are amber corn snakes, which are basically hypocarmels. And uh, what's interesting is that this was an amber to an amber, yet I popped out a couple um, butter corns, which are again, the albino caramel version. So it's kind of interesting. That's what's kind of cool about corn snakes is that most of the time when you breed stuff, there's hidden genetics that you don't even know are in there. So when you hatch, it's like, oh, surprise. This, these are actually, oh man, these are really beautiful. These are from my mosaic calcane clutches. And you can see these ones are really heavily polka dotted, which is, that's my favorite of the bunch. When you get ones like, look at that. Look how cool that is, just a polka dot right down its back. And that's what I really love with that mosaic gene. Well, I tell you what, guys, I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing what I have going on. I still have all these eggs to go through, and I don't want to bore you with it, but it's going to be really exciting to get these babies set up, get them on our website, and get them out to whoever wants these baby snakes. It's just a great time of the year for a snake breeder. Again, you work all year long just to produce this. This is the fruits of our labor, and I tell you what, it is so worth it. Hey Brian, I'm about to go do the uh, employee evaluations. Cool. Um, have you heard of a game called Death Not an Option? Yeah, it's a stupid game where you give people ridiculous yeah. options and they can't say, well, I'd rather die. Mm -hmm. I got one for you. Make out with Rosie O'Donnell or sleep with Roseanne Barr. Get the hell out of my office. It's not how the game's played. Hey Sam. Hey Josh. I'm doing Lori's evaluations. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's play a game called Death not an option, are you what? game? Okay, what? <laughs> All right, either you gotta kiss Chewy or handle the mean Amazon prequel. Do you see how busy I am? Do you want a bad evaluation? Dude, are you kidding me? That's not even a choice. I'll give you a good one. I will handle a million Amazon boys before I ever kiss All right. Chewy. Let's do it. Fine. See, Chewy's always fussing about this. Well, I think could... he's fine. See? Yeah, I wish I had to kiss Chewy. Yeah. Oh well. Well, you did good. So. It's so hard. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put a, a check mark there. And, I know it was Nanky. I would you know. kiss you before I kissed Chewy. Hey, Chewy. Oh, hey, Joshy. It's evaluation time. Um, write this down. I've been here 10 years. I don't get evaluated. Come on, Chewy. Everybody's got to get evaluated. No. All right. How about this? We'll play a game instead. Death not an option. Ready? Okay. All right. Either kiss Satan on the mouth or swim the alligators. Can you give me a minute? Oh, 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 she's got, oh. I'll take option B, swimming with the alligators. Okay. Well, right now, we're on our way up and then I'll get in the pool. Okay. Let's do a good job here, you ready for this? I got my safety equipment on. You're looking good. I know, this is gonna be fun. So all I do is swim? Yep, just get in there, relax, maybe play with them a little bit. They like company. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> should, should I swim? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> should I like roll on? You gotta, you gotta cuddle with one. Come on. Come here, alligator. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Come and yeah. see your uncle Chewy. See, now they have a place. To oh, go. I touch my toe. <laughs> Come here, alligator. <laughs> Chewy's the alligator whisperer. <laughs> He's getting pissed off. <laughs> Aren't you having fun? Yeah, this is fun. Can I get out now? Hey, Nick. Yeah, what's up? Gotta do employee evaluation. Alright, um, so what do we do? I think we should play a game instead, and I'll evaluate you on that. All right, I'm game. So. All right, death not an option. Okay. You have to either lick Georgie's feet or run down the street naked. <laughs> Dude, both of those sound freaking awesome. Oh yes, get my toes licked by Nick. Well, come on, let's go. God, you're weird. Nice and seasoned. 
<laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Right. Come on, make it quick. Everybody Come on, lick him, baby. Ooh, oh. so wet and moist. Ooh, do it again. Do it again. Oh. Oh. It tastes a slight hint of lemon. Oh, oh my gosh. Ain't it bad? Let's go streaking. All right, let's do this. I leave this on Lori's desk. Bam, job well done. In this week's Zoom Ed contest, we're gonna be giving away a Reptorain, which is a really cool misting system that we happen to be using on our chameleons. So I know you guys are gonna love this product. This is what I need you to do. Go over to Facebook, like both Zoom Ed and Snake Bites TV, and tell us something. I wanna know if you could own just one reptile of any kind, what would it be and why would you wanna own it? We're gonna pick the coolest story. Good luck, everybody. All right, guys, the Daytona show was this past weekend. Brian just got back from that, and we're going to be leaving for Texas in a couple of days. Me, Chewy, and Brian are going to be driving out of Texas. It's a 20-hour drive. I want to know your road trip stories. What kind of crazy things have you gotten into on a road trip? Leave a comment below and let us know. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. It sure is cool to see all these babies every day. It's kind of like Christmas every time I come to the shop. We're super excited because next week we're going to have Ton Jones from Spike TV's Auction Hunters in. We're going to have a real blast. And trust me, you're going to know what I mean by blast when you watch the show. Until next week, make sure to follow us over on Facebook and Twitter at Snake Bites TV. You've been watching Snake Bites. So what is the favorite pet at the Chewy household? Well, if you guessed B, skinny pigs, you are absolutely correct. Nice work.